from something that is very, very beginner level for all those uh, Revit users. Okay, uh, basically, I, before I share everything, I would like to say something about uh, Revit user and Revit modeler and also the Revit author. So in this, our BIM uh, construction in, in, industry, uh, as a BIM user, uh, especially like using the Revit software, we call it just viewing the model, just uh, opening uh, the software and you see the project, you check cutting sections or elevations or 3D views. All these are user. No matter how you can model or not, all those uh, engineer level, architect, all these, uh, any, any, any user to explore the Revit model, BIM model is called BIM user or Revit user. Those really uh, go beyond that, become like a Revit modeler or professional BIM modeler. Okay, something like, uh, we call it a term as author. So maybe uh, in any trade like architectural structure, silver, mechanical, electrical, plumbing, sanitary, or fire protection, any any trade, any background, any discipline, you can use it like a uh, very professional level. You can start from the beginning to develop the model. You can do all the family creation. We call it library component to, to be professional BIM modeler. So that is another, uh, another level to go up. So for now, at the beginning, I want to share this as a getting started level, okay? So which I will start to share with you uh, from the beginning, you, are, you, are, you have zero knowledge, you have never have a hands-on, you don't have a, a any practice, you, have, you, you barely touch Revit software also, okay? So uh, don't worry, it will be very easy, uh, very easy to you when I show it like step by step. So uh, this session is mainly uh, intend to share to those uh, zero knowledge and zero uh, experience in Revit. So just follow my instruction, just follow my steps. So it will be very uh, easy for you. So. Uh, Let's go to software and then see how we can use it. So I, I, would, I will take it the topic for today is getting started. Okay, so let's start and relax. It's, it's very easy for you. If you were following my steps, I, I, uh, I'm very sure you, you will like it. So I will start to show you the Revit software. So when you open, when you launch, we call it launch your Revit software, you will see, basically you will see sample uh, project, like something like uh, basic sample project, uh, RME advanced sample project or RSD sample project, some, something like that. So these are uh, not, going to appear if if your software is just newly installed okay if you are you haven't touched anything you haven't opened any other project or you are using as a very new beginner level you just install your software and then you won't see all these things you will see uh those uh default sample project okay that those sample projects right um based on the version it will be a bit different but if you you use other people's computer or your office computer there might be there might be some other projects uh ongoing so this user interface is showing the resin file so recently open fast so you you won't see exactly the same as you see on my screen uh, for those beginner so that is uh, very important for you uh, sometimes you may not see anything is blank totally blank okay then uh, you can go and find my sharing about those beginner level who is missing the template files and the Revit family files. So uh, I will say 
I will show you here, but if you really cannot see any far, any drawing, any model, you just uh, go and look looking for my uh, sharing sessions about uh, missing template and Revit family. So you, you, you will know what to do. I give uh, all the step-by-step -step, uh, procedure to, to do so. And sometimes you can open, uh, okay, I just, Actually, I just go back to this. Uh, I press this arrow button and go to here far. You can go this way also, open and drag to and did here. You, you will find it the sample files. Okay. You click here, and what you will see is these are the based on your latest uh your software version. Maybe you use Revit 2019, 20, 21, 22, 23, and so on. So wherever version you use. You will see this sample project inside this folder. Okay, so these these are all the sample project you can see because uh, this topic is to let you um explore all these uh uh Revit file how to open how to check how to cat section something like that. Okay, so okay, what you will see is here. It under your C there will be Autodesk. Revit 2013 as uh, my software is Revit 2023 and samples. So you will find these sample projects inside here. Then I want to share you something that is really interesting uh, of the naming system. Okay. Before I open, maybe your background is architecture or structure or server or mechanical. So we, we call it MEP, mechanical, electrical, um, Plumbing, something like that. So we can see from the beginning of the file name. So here, RAC means Revit Architecture. AC is for architecture. Okay. Here, RSD, SD means structure. And here, RME for ME. So you can easily find based on this name, this is a structure related project or archi related or ME related. Then, uh, if you want to open the project, the extension file is RVT. Don't open RFA. Okay, RFA is very family. That will be um, new to you, but later I'll explain slowly. Okay, so you just take note of this. Revit got four, uh, four extensions, uh, later four format. So later I will explain in different uh, sharing, the different topics. So you see here, uh, those RVT files are Revit, Revit project files. So you just need to focus and open this. So just um, do it and ignore the rest for, for this point of time. Okay. So if you are ME trained, you open this advanced or basic project. Uh, if you are a key, you just open. So any, no matter how your are key structure or MNE, this this is a new to Revit 2023. So here got a key structure and MEP. So they put together. So anyway, I will pick uh, basically uh, architectural project. It looks nicer. So I will open this uh, RAC advanced sample project. You can follow the same with me or you can open any any project. So, okay, I open it. So just, just hold for, for a moment. Okay, so you will see this view. So uh, just focus on what I'm going to share as a getting started. I will share you a few items. So this is very critical thing that you need to understand. Basically, when you open the Revit file, you will see this uh, property and project browser. So you must take note of it. First thing first, okay, is the properties and uh, we call it a project, project browser. So these two are very important. This control the entire project. So you, you can see either plan or sections or elevation or 3D view based on this uh, project, project browser. So in, in the project browser, you can see every everything. And once you 
pick up of element and element. Uh, for example, you click here. Once you click this, you can see what item it is. So it will be showing you the property of selected items. But if you don't select anything, this property is belong to the view. So when you open this view, the properties inside here is for this view. Okay, so that will be later you can understand more and more. So every time you will happen is rest assured. For, for me as a beginner level, I happened before. So I will share this tip for you. Accidentally close, accidentally close. So your screen will be bigger, okay? Then first thing you will feel as a, you will get panic when you close the software and open again. I mean, you shut down, you shut down, you launch the software again. You won't be able to see this project browser and this property, why? Uh, uh, based on my experience, I, I got really shocked. Uh, what, what should I do? Is it software problem or my problem? Or what happened? I, I, I asked for IT guys also, they have no solution. Then I have to dig all the books and the time there's no YouTube uh, video lectures or whatever, no senior, I'm really uh, got, the stack there so later i i study everything then i i realized oh okay because this is a view issue i should go and find and uh we call it this is a we call every this this icon is a tech a tech tab tech okay so when i go to view there's a user interface so it's very interesting uh the that, that's the reason why i like revit you know if you use this Revit, that is really, really uh, user friendly, and uh, I can I can check and find everything I want based on this um category. So uh, it's it's really 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 interesting and easy. So you see here, there's a properties and also got uh project browser, system browsers, or some something like that. So I just need to click here go to this view tab okay just follow this view tab go to user interface project browser then oh you can see this and also again you can on properties so you can get back all these things but if you don't do no matter whether you reset your laptop or your pc or you reset your software it doesn't work unless you go here do this okay this is really really important uh sometimes people want to see the bigger screen sometimes you want to off this uh, property bounce so later you want to bring it back so you make sure that you go here check here properties so this is really useful okay then uh, let's go to the project browser okay project browser you just need to know this highlighted one shows uh, your selection, your selection, okay? Then you see uh, this This is uh, from parking area or whatever views. So you, I, I will close this uh, property path first. I will drag here, okay? So one more interesting things that you should know is there's a bold letter showing that, meaning that this bold letter show your current view. Okay, in Revit, you must remember what where you can find the current view is in the browser. If you see bold letter, written in bold letter is a current view. How can you know that to make sure? I will go here. Okay, let's say level one. I double click. Okay, you use your mouse, uh, double click. Double click here. So you will see this view. And when whatever you click here, click one click single click okay not double click single click doesn't count okay this current view is only here in bold letter so if you want to open any view you must double click okay the very simple so if you are really beginner revit user you know how to open the views so 
over here you can see the organization of the project project browser so i just minimize all those uh plus or minus sign of it i want to show you the how the project browser is organized okay so i just make it bigger i hover my cursor here drag it so you can see bigger okay so here this is something very similar to uh window you are using window right window browser so for example in your computer you got folder organization your folder name okay so, so let's say i call it uh my folder oops so big <laughs> so this is my folder. Inside your folder, you can put a uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Also, when you are using AutoCAD, the same thing. You create project folder. Okay, let's say project A, B, C, D. Then inside the project code, let's say project one, two, three, four, five also can. So under this project code, you will put a uh, layout plans or you will put maybe incoming, outgoing, something like, like that, or uh, walking drawings. So this is this is a very important. So something like you organize your folder in your window system, your your computer. So you can it, it's based on your management. If it's based on your company, sorry, standard. So you you can be using like project folder, then sub folder, uh, incoming architecture structure mechanical, electrical, and so on. And also you can put like outgoing or receive or issues or something like that. So you, you, you still can do that. And inside the folder, you will put like uh, layout plan, sections, elevations, detailing, scheduling, or uh, drawing list or wherever. So this is the way that we organize the folder and Revit itself in one file, they organize the folder in the whole entire Revit file. So how can you know that? So you see here, we call it the project browser. Inside the project browser, you will see view all, okay? That is quite advanced. So uh, if you want to know how to uh, customize or how to rearrange your project browser, it will be um, in advanced level uh, lessons. So I, I won't be sharing that detail in this uh, topic. And I'm going, I, I will moving forward to the rest of the system. Okay. So you see, and the view all, you will see floor plans, ceiling plans, 3D views, elevation sections. It's something like folder. We call it folder. Even though it's in Revit one, uh, Revit project file, you can see all these as a folder. The Inside the folder got many drawings. How can you know that? Okay, we just click this plus sign, one click. You can see all the elevation, east elevation, not elevation, south elevation, west elevation, so on. So if you can add one, you add one more elevation, it will appear. So it's like how many views you want to create, it will appear here. Also, the sessions you cut many sessions, you will see many session view. Okay, so this is the way that Revit organize the folders, and also there is another major one. This is all views. They got legends. They got schedule, they got sheets, and also the families and groups. Even if you link from other Revit file, also can see here. So, so this is the way how Revit user interface organize. So you can see here, uh, inside this pro this project file, there got many uh Revit library component, Revit family. What is Revit family? You don't know? Just uh forget about it first. I will continue later. Okay. So as a as a getting started level you need to know how to open the views so i want to go go and open the 3d view so let's say this this is called default 3d view if you don't want to go here they got quick tubers we call it quick tubers over here 
So those are frequently used and very useful tools is over here. We call it a quick do burst. You can go to here 3D view. Also, either you go to this end of view tab and 3D view is the same. Okay, but I won't go into share further to camera and walk through that will be later. Okay. So you click this or you click here, double click this one, double click this one, only one click, single click. This one also single click, one click here, you can see the 3D view, that's it. So you can see any views by double click, you will see everything, okay? This is very simple step. So one more step to go. When you use a mouse, okay, my mouse can see, right? <laughs> so there's a roller, there's a left click, right click, okay? Left, right, roller, okay? I will do this way, I go back to, you will see all these tab here. You can click after that, okay? After you open a view, you don't have to go back here and double click. You can see here all these uh, window tab and you can click, click, click and see. So I let me go to 3D view. So I use mouse, uh, the, the middle one, the scroll bar. I use the, the roller, I move forward, okay? like that, so it's zoom in. So this this is like that, I move up, friends, okay, forward. Then zoom in, I move back, uh, back back, uh, like that, it's zoom out. So it's very simple. Not only 3D view, you go to detail view, also same thing. I just stay using this roller, okay. Then if you press, okay, press, pressing this, press, is like pen. Okay, press, but you don't have to release first. Okay, press and move. But I, I have to uh, attach to the uh, something. So, okay, something like that. Okay, I go back to 3D view. Here, I press. Sorry. I need to move. Press. Then I can move. Okay, so. We, we call it zoom in, zoom out, and uh, pen. So you can do that. Or you can go here also. This is, a, we call it a navigation wheel. It's the same thing, okay? You can zoom like that, okay? Or you can use pen like that. So, but uh, it's quite troublesome to me to go to this and use it. Uh, this one later, I will share for more. Uh, detailing. Uh, currently, as a beginner, if you want to open a view, just open, zoom in, zoom out using the roller and use a uh, press the roller button and shift. So that is uh, walkable. Okay. And go to 3D view as is uh, very interesting. You can zoom in, you pan, zoom in, check. And also, you want to see the properties of it. Uh, so you can on this uh, user interface and properties. Or another thing you can do is very simply, uh, okay, I just go here, click this tree. Any tree you can select, any item you can select, okay? Then you can press, before you select, okay, I press the escape key. Before you select, you won't see anything here. Okay, we just select one thing like this one. And after you select that, interestingly, this one appear. And all this, you can assess what you can, whatever you can do. This is called contextual tab. I type here. So we call is uh we call we call it as a contextual tab. So which means every time you select different individual items, it will appear differently based on what you select. Okay, so it's called contextual tab, 
and it's really, really uh, useful and it's really interesting. Okay, so let's say I will go to this roof slab and click. So it will appear here, modify roofs, and then all these different uh, contextual tab items are appear so that you can edit or you can do anything you want. Okay, this, this one will be later. So I want to see the properties of it. So I can type shortcut as a PP or I click this icon. So you will see. So for those Revit user, you want to check everything. What is what? You go any views like plan or wherever you go here you click this door you will see the properties of the door so what is the width of the door what is the height of the door you can see here okay so this is called bim okay information we we call this software like uh or uh, or revit or other software we call it a BIM software. Why? It's uh, information. We can get information of each and every items. So you, you, you can easily understand the usage. Uh, you can get all the required information for your further construction work. So that's really, really good. So, okay. I click this staircase. So this show uh, multi-story. So it's not only go from one level to another level, it's going to the, the rest of the floors, okay? So you can see all the properties. So for this lesson, I just want to share very, for the very beginner level, first thing first, I close again. I don't save it. Any project you want to explore, you just click and open, okay? So I now I open the m and &E join. And I opened it purposely because there is a, some trick for M and E MEP model. So I close this property first. In this project browser, differently is not all the view. It's called advanced because if you follow this, um, sometimes if you cut sessions or whatever, you won't be able to see. So it's the best to right click. Right click, I use, I click here, right click here, project browser organization, I go to this or apply. Okay, so you can see all the views. So now I don't want to explain so much detail because I don't want you getting confused of using this software. So I will go in simple way. Just trust me and follow this instruction. Right click, browser organization, change to all, then you can proceed anything you want. So just go to here, any views you want to see, just double click, you can see it. You just zoom in using the uh, roller, uh, go to front and backward, front, uh, forward and backward, backward to be zoom out, zoom in, okay? Then you press the roller key, then you can shift it, that's it. And then you click any items you want, you click property box, you can see their properties. Okay, that is the basic thing you need to know. And of course, there are many, many things you need to know. Like this is called a uh, view queue. You can click this to see the top view. You can see this to the front view or whatever. So that also can be done. You want to go to the global home key also can be done by this way. So that one, uh, I will explain one by one to this kind of thing. So uh, don't don't be rushed. So getting started things, you just need to explore what are the items inside here and what you can do. You just imagine what you want to do, okay? Currently, what I want to show is open, uh, double click to the views and you click here and see the properties, that's it, okay? The rest for modeling stages, I will uh, slowly share for individual topics. So for uh, getting started, I think it's quite uh, simple and easy for you. Great. Okay, so I believe is uh, it make you thinking like easy to learn the Revit. So if you really, really, uh, enjoy my sharing uh, just 
subscribe my channel and like and give some notification button uh, click to the bell and also uh, you can comment if you have some questions okay actually i'm planning to have uh, some short course or practical um, practice to the project level everything that uh, you can contact me through comments uh, later i will plan to have a membership uh, plan uh, so you can join as a member and so you can see more and more uh, lessons about Revit and big, basic beginner level, also the intermediate level, also advanced level, even uh, further more to do the family equation, uh, nervous work or whatever. So I, I will be sharing every level. Okay, thanks for watching my uh, lessons and uh, more more and more lessons will be uh, sharing to you very soon. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next topic.